Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, of course we are taking a look today at uh, the latest build of Windows 10 19H1. This build was released yesterday March 5th 2019. I always take my time to uh, review them because I always want to make sure that they are quite stable. So for the install everything went perfectly and um, you know there's just no issues in here. What we have in here, of course, is no new features. So if that's what you're looking for, there's nothing new. But we will, of course, take a look at some of the new features coming up. Um, there's a lower, well, you know, a lot of bug fixes. And the list of uh, known issues is a little smaller. That means we're actually going to fix a lot of the issues by the next few weeks. Still a watermark on the bottom right, but we are getting very close to what will be officially the April 2019 update. And I uh, wouldn't be surprised we get another build this week, maybe on uh, Thursday or Friday. Um, increased build, uh, you know, is simply a answer to the fact that we're getting closer to the release. So they're going faster and working harder in uh, crushing all the bugs and the problems. The build itself, I got no problems with. It didn't have any, you know, um, issues. I haven't had any crashes. It seems to be working really well. So, um, you know, it's another one of those uh, very good build for me in the past uh, few builds, or well, actually the past, you know, like 10 builds. It was pretty, uh, pretty cool and um, really no problem with it. So what are we going to check out as new features today? Well, I want to actually take the time to look at, first of all, the settings panel that will have at the top kind of a new way to view your accounts. So when you go to your settings in this build, there's, of course, uh, one new setting that we talked about, which was search. But at the top here, you see your account information. You now have your account, the Microsoft account you use, and you see uh, OneDrive, Windows Update, Rewards. You see a little more if you have more screen space. So depending on how the resolution of your screen, you might see more information up there. So there's kind of a quick look that, you know, everything seems to be all right uh, visible here at the top. So this is kind of interesting to see. Also, regarding settings, there's one setting, well, there's a few settings that have changed, and one of them is the sound settings. You know, there's been some uh, tweaking of the sound settings, and it started with the October 2018 update when some of the sound settings went to the uh, settings page. But also now, you've got visible icons of what's happening. So you see here, I'm using OBS Studio at the bottom. This is my recording, my screen recording that I'm using right now. And next to it, you see a microphone. Everything that uses your microphone is actually going to pop up the microphone icon that you see here. So this, of course, will uh, show you that a software, a piece of software you're using is actually using your microphone and your PC. If you click on it, as you see here, it brings you to the microphone page where you can actually give or remove access to the microphone. So these are a few little things that are interesting. And last but not least in things that I want to talk about, the uninstall of apps. Um, you know, they started with the October 2018 update. There were a few of the core apps that they let you uninstall within the operating system. Uh, some people, you know, just didn't want to have the core apps and wanted to be able to remove, uh, say, the news app or stuff like that. Microsoft made it really hard for any apps to be uninstalled. And um, now they're actually uh, adding more and more of these apps that you can actually uninstall. So some of them are grayed out, as you see here, but some of these apps are now uh, capable of being uninstalled by um, your the user. So this is, of course, something that is good because a lot of you have been thinking, you know, for example, mail and calendar here, you can uninstall. Um, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, I don't want to have that, or this is something I'll never use. Um, you know, if you look at the, um, uh, snip and sketch is another one that you can actually, uh, remove from your, uh, computer. Uh, the uninstall button is here. So there's a few things now that they are actually letting you 
install a little more than before. So uh, good news for those that want to try to have the cleanest of the operating systems for Windows 10. A lot of the core apps that weren't uh, possible to remove are now possible. They now have an uninstall button. And uh, this is going to be good news for a lot of people for sure. The uh, apps, you know, they continue to try to have you use these apps. But honestly, I don't think they're very successful. And a lot of you don't absolutely don't use none of the apps that are available within the operating system. So these are some more of a few changes that are in the April 2019 update. Uh, there's a lot more coming up. And of course, as new builds will arise, we will, of course, take the time to look at all of that also at the same time. And I uh, hope that you installed and the install was going well for you guys. Uh, don't forget, I posted the link yesterday. There is a new image of uh, 18343. If you can't upgrade, if you haven't been able to update your builds for the past few weeks or months, go and take that image, create a USB or DVD and boot from that and clean install your Windows Insider builds as uh, that should actually fix maybe what is happening and why you can't update. Apart from that, like I said, I got absolutely no issues and no problems with this build and it's been working very, very well. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our video.